This is our material story. So this one over here is starting with the jersey, which is exactly like a jog the same material as you'd find on a sweater. Um, there's the corduroy, that once again, you know, story that we're doing with the seasonal colorways from Gothic grape. This is a little bit more of a lighter hue of the Gothic grape. And then there's the Skydiver Blue. We're in the skate shoes. So we've taken the Cons collection and brought it into the same kind of flavor for the mainstream collection of Chuck Taylor. So it's an all suede shoe, suede toe cap. The only difference between Cons and this is in the Cons stuff, there's a lot more padding and more skatable. Okay. This is the exact same Chuck Taylor that you would find on a regular, on you know, on a regular nice I really costume. like this one. Once again, same colorways. We're doing the uh, Skydiver Blue the charcoal, the red, so following that same, you know, same skin, color palette, skin. same hand tones that we're using. Oh. This is the bomber jacket, which I'm pretty stoked on. So we got the green with the, with the orange pop. This one's the exact one that you would see, you know, wear a bomber jacket, always got, you know, the orange pop in it. Mm -hmm. And this one with the yellow. If you get the blue ones, it always has the yellow liner. So we did that with this. And then uh, the new leather update. So the mono, you know, with the... Nice chocolate brown and the uh, cloud gray, so awesome. This we're doing the Warbridge collaboration. So like I was saying over there, this is more of a functional winter boot. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a nice liner. This yes. thing's warm. You could rock this snow, like in knee high snow, you know? This one yeah. I'm really hyped on. And once again, this is all dropping within the next couple weeks. So get outside, we'll have this one revision. That's a full functional boot. Get these. <laughs> And there's another War Ridge here. Once again, it's got the War Ridge logo on the inside of it. Um, combining two heritage brands. Ever, is awesome. Converse being the oldest athletic sneaker. Yeah. It's an amazing combination to kind of mix the two. They've done a great job. With the regular mm -hmm. Chuck Taylor as well. We're getting into more of the peat coat look. So we got that with that same boot. And then uh, with the nice shiny coat Chuck, oh, no. War Ridge liner. And then we're doing it with the Purcell. So this is actually like a double collab because John, you know, we got the uh, Jack Purcell and Woolrich Converse all collaborating. This one shoe. Purcell. This is, this is Jack Purcell's look, and we're kind of just gives it a nice it uniqueness there. for yeah, your no, shoes, Chuck right? Chuck Taylor. It's got the regular Chuck toe mixed with the Purcell toe cap, and it's just. Um, of course, it's a great color, but um, we're doing the boat shoe, and then we're doing the regular Purcell, but it's in profile instead of the normal traditional Purcell is a little bit higher. So you can see right here as far as the sole, it's a little bit thicker of a sole. So it's a low profile version of this shoe. The collection is right here. Really excited about it. So we got it for the little ones, the youth, and then we also have it for adults. A lot of sneakerheads are going to be going crazy about this, oh, different so souls. Cool. So all this stuff is strictly for independent stores. So I love Dr. Seuss. Majors. It'll be in the get outside, the groovies around town, majority of Queen Street is where you're going to find all the collaborations. Uh, it's something that we do super limited. We're not doing a ton of these. I mean, it's almost two orders. So when they're sold out, they're gone. You can't get them anymore. So a lot of people are going to be stocking up on this stuff. And uh, I think they're going to go really quick. Getting over to the music. This one right here has actually got the Chuck Taylor soul throughout the entire piece, okay. which is awesome. The entire thing is inspired by the Monterey Music Festival. It was in 1967. Every artist that is showcased in this collection was actually performing at that show. Jimi Hendrix being like his first breakout performance with a guitar on fire and stuff. That was the first time he did that. Oh, wow. It was before Woodstock, so 1967. Um, this is the <coughs> famous coat, you know, he's always into like the old military like, kind of vintage stuff back then, so this is where this comes from, from that actual photo right there. Um, this is from, and then there's the Who, which is another awesome All the images you see are from album covers, and this is actually an image from him performing at the Monterey oh, Music Festival. Wow. Grateful Dead, <laughs> it's got the hemp, everything's hemp, so it's got the hemp call out. It also has um, the roses that are in the, the hair all through the liner of the shoe. So that's another thing that's awesome. And then there's the Janis Joplin. So this is her that she used to always wear, and that's where that pattern comes from. So oh. that's the Janis Joplin piece there. 